What's going on everyone? Stress here, 221B Tactical. Today we are talking about body armor for children. Now, this is a video that I never thought I'd find myself making. However, so many of you have written in, called in with questions about obtaining body armor for your child. Uh, these days that we're living in are crazy times. There's a lot going on and families are just getting prepared. And a lot of parents out there, they just simply don't know about body armor, especially when it comes to their children. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about some of the questions that I get the most about body armor for children. We're gonna go over some of your options and what you should be looking for when it comes to purchasing body armor for your child. Now, this may be for parents that are concerned sending their children to school. Uh, we also have a lot of parents that are concerned about having something in their home in the event an event occurs and they need to move their family quickly from point A to point B. They want to have some protection on their child when that happens. So I'm going to go into first the types of body armor that you could possibly look at for your child. And then second, I'm going to get into some rough pricing that you might be looking at when you're looking at getting some body armor for your children. Okay, first we're gonna start out with soft body armor panels, and then we'll go into the vest. A lot of parents ask, what can I put in my child's book bag or backpack to help protect them while they're at school, while they're out of the house? And typically, we recommend a soft body armor panel, level 3A, similar to this. Now, a lot of parents ask, what kind of bullets does it stop? A soft panel like this will stop handgun threats. So you're talking nine millimeter, 40, 45, even 44 Magnum. Now, contrary to popular belief, most active shooter events involve handguns and not rifles or AR-15s that you hear in the news. Most, if you look at the FBI statistics, overwhelmingly the active shooter events uh, occur with people using handguns. So this will stop handgun threats. You see that it will fit into a backpack uh, or bag or handbag or even a briefcase very easily, a computer bag, a messenger type bag, depending on what your child is carrying. Most parents that reach out to us say their child is carrying a backpack. So you would slide this right into the backpack uh, where all the books go. If there's a separate panel on some backpacks, they have a back uh, panel on the back of the bag. You could slide it in there as well, but otherwise you could put this right into the bag. Very light, very soft, very flexible, and your child will most likely not even know it's in there from a weight perspective. And if you wanna, some parents uh, put a cover over this, a fabric cover, maybe a different color that's not black. And we, of course, we completely understand that. But this is something that you're gonna have in your child's bag to help protect them against those handgun threats. When it comes to cost, something like this is gonna cost right around $150. Now they have some smaller ones uh, available depending on the size of your child's bag, but this one right here is the most common one to fit, as you see, about the full uh, backpack size. And you'll also see uh, on me, at my size, how much coverage it provides front or back. So it is a pretty significant piece of protection. Now this is an 11 by 14 panel. Panels come in 10 by 12 and they also come in 8 by 10. So depending on your child's size and the size of their bag, you can select that accordingly. Now some parents contact us and they say, I want to get something for my child or my children that will help keep them safe in the event something happens in our home on our property, or I need to transport my family, I need to transport my children, and I wanna get something on them during that time to protect them. So in those instances, we say, okay, you wanna get a body armor vest, because they're not gonna be wearing a backpack or anything like that. There are two types of body armor vests, if you would, that you can get. You can get a soft armor vest like this, very similar to what you see most police officers wearing uh, underneath their uniform. Uh, some officers are now wearing it over their uniform. Or you can get a plate carrier with hard plates. I'm gonna get into that in a moment. But let's start with the soft armor vest. Now, of course, this vest is sized for me or a large adult. For your children, you're most likely looking at getting an extra small or a small soft armor vest. Uh, extra small or small vest in the same soft, flexible level 3A body armor 
to help protect against those handgun rounds are gonna start around $300 and go up from there. Of course, you wanna make sure that it is a reputable company that you're getting the armor from and it meets or exceeds the NIJ testing standards. Uh, some may even be NIJ certified. So those are things you wanna look for when you're looking for a soft body armor vest and you wanna make sure you have your child's correct sizes down, uh, their, their height, their chest dimensions, and you wanna purchase the vest that's going to fit them the best. This is not a situation where you say, oh, if it's a little big, it's you know no big deal. It's gonna be flopping around on them, it's gonna be moving around on them, and it may move to a position where it doesn't provide the adequate protection that you're looking for for your child. And in a lot of these situations, you're gonna be wanting to get this onto your child fast. You may be looking to move, uh, uh, evac from your home or wherever you are. So you wanna be able to get this on fast and get it secured properly at the right height. Now your next option when looking for body armor for your children is a plate carrier that holds hard armor plates like this. Now there are some options when it comes to hard armor plates, steel and composite or ceramic. We're not gonna get into that now, but those are the options available to you. When you are looking at these armor plates for a child, you're most likely looking at eight by 10 plates. Those are typically the smaller size plates for people with smaller frames. So this right here is a 10 by 12 plate for your children or kids, teens, you're probably looking for an eight by 10 plate. The eight by 10 plates, you're gonna want two, one for the front and one for the rear for that front and back protection. Because unlike the soft armor vest I just showed you prior that has the soft armor panel on the front and the soft armor panel on the back, this is a standalone item. So you need to get two of these. Now, each of these is gonna roughly cost you about $250 to $300 per plate, depending on the level of protection. There's different levels of protection these plates offer, and depending on whether you cho choose to go with uh, steel body armor or composite body armor. Once again, I have a whole separate video on the differences uh, on that as well. You can check that out on our channel. So. 8x10 most likely is the size you wanna get. You're gonna need two of them. You got the pricing for that. Now you're gonna need what's called a plate carrier to hold these plates. So these, these plates go inside the plate carrier, they slip up from the bottom and they go front and back. They slip in and they seal along the bottom. So one of the things you wanna make sure of is that when you are selecting a plate carrier, the plate carrier is designed to hold the smaller 8x10 plates. This plate carrier right here, this is the 221B Tactical QRF plate carrier. This is designed to hold 10 by 12 and eight by 10 plates. However, many plate carriers are designed only to hold 10 by 12 plates or even 11 by 14 plates. So you wanna make sure that you have the proper plate carrier for the smaller eight by 10 plates. Otherwise the plate's gonna be in there and it's gonna be moving around and floating around. And you want, you, once again, you don't want that because it's not gonna sit at that proper position or that proper height to give your child the adequate protection uh, that they need. Plate carriers, similar to this, you're gonna probably be looking at somewhere around the 150 to $200 plus range. They're available from a lot of different companies, a lot of different websites. So just make sure you're getting a quality product, of course, read the reviews and make sure that it's made with uh, quality material and it holds up to the standards that you have for your child. You want something that's not only gonna give them comfort and protection, but also that it's, it's gonna last, it's not gonna fall apart at the worst possible time. So there you have it. Those are your options when you're looking for body armor for your children. Now, one of the things I wanna point out is a lot of people, when they call us, they say, I'm looking for a bulletproof vest for my kid, or I'm looking for a bulletproof vest for my child. Um, to correct that there, there is no such thing as a bulletproof vest. Uh, that would mean that a bullet could never ever pass through it. Kind of like waterproof alludes to water will never enter. Uh, with these vests, you're looking at bullet resistant. There's a big difference between bulletproof and bullet resistance. All these are bullet resistant. And we say resistant or the industry says resistant because at some point with enough rounds and enough damage, these vests will break down and a bullet can and will pass through. So you wanna make sure you're using the right 
uh, terminology when you're looking at these vests. Now, a lot of these places will say bulletproof vest, but just know that nothing is quite bulletproof. Just something I hear a lot of parents saying when they call us uh, and ask questions about getting body armor for their children. So I hope this video answered some of your questions that you might have about body armor for your children. It, it, once again, and a video that is almost uncomfortable to make because you're talking about getting a bullet resistant vest and body armor that police and military wear, but on your children. However, we had so many parents reaching out to us with this concern and so many people were asking, is there something we can go to? Is there some uh, video content or a blog article or whatever that can answer these questions for us? So we decided let's make a video and when people call up, they could we could just direct them to this video to answer a lot of their questions. Of course, you're welcome to give us a call or email us at sales at 221btactical.com 24 seven, our team is available to answer all of your questions. If maybe there's a question that you have that was not answered in this video, our team is there 24 seven to answer that question for you. Once again, this is not a video that we enjoy producing. This is not a video and a topic we even wanna talk about. However, your request is why we are making this video and we hope it answers some of your questions and maybe alleviate some of the concerns you had around purchasing some sort of body armor protection for your child. Thanks for watching. And once again, any more questions you might have that weren't answered in this video, please contact us directly, sales at 221btactical.com. Thanks and be safe out there.